Cockroaches are one of the most despised and misunderstood creatures in the world. There are thousands of species with important ecological roles, but their name gets tarnished by the few species that have adapted to life among humans. This is the story of the insects that conquered the world millions of years ago, and will still be here well after we're gone. I'm Danielle Dufault, and you're watching Animal Logic. Cockroaches can be easily identified by their flattened oval shape, their small heads with chewing mandibles, and the plate that protects their heads from above. Most species play an important role in their ecosystem as detritus eaters. They recycle the nutrients in rotting plant matter. They also play an important role as a food source to many animals, such as large insects, birds, and rodents. In one particularly gruesome case, emerald jewel wasps will zombify cockroaches, guide them into a dark den, and then they'll inject them with their larvae. The wasp larva then eats the cockroach alive from the inside. Cockroaches are found on every continent except Antarctica. They can survive the freezing temperatures of northern latitudes by secreting antifreeze into their open circulatory system. Different species specialize in different environments, and you can find them in cities, forests, deserts, and even bodies of water. Unlike their close relatives, termites, cockroaches are not eusocial, but they are gregarious. They also like to stick together as families, and colonies are multi-generational. The only problem is that colonies grow exponentially, especially when fed by our leftovers. They can even eat our hair and our fingernails. A female German cockroach and her offspring, which are found in homes throughout the world, can produce 30,000 eggs in one year, which in some cases can lead to a huge infestation. In New York City, there are an estimated 100 million cockroaches, about seven for every human. Living in groups is important to cockroaches because they need their peers to teach them how to cockroach. German cockroaches raised in captivity were less likely to leave their hiding spots, were less interested in the opposite sex, and were worse at finding food. They're like incels. To find each other in their often dark environments, they communicate using pheromones. Some species secrete them through glands, while others, including our beloved German cockroach, deposit their chemical letters in their poo. Their aversion to light is almost universal among species. They prefer dark, warm, and moist places. The main exception is the Asian cockroach, which seems to be attracted to light sources and white surfaces. Despite our collective hatred for them, cockroaches can be truly awesome and incredibly diverse. The biggest cockroach is the Australian giant burrowing cockroach, which can be 9 centimeters long and weigh up to 35 grams, about as heavy as a hamster. It is also rare among invertebrates, as the mom gives birth to live babies instead of laying eggs. Each brood might produce up to 30 babies. Almost as long, but not nearly as heavy, is the giant cockroach from Central and South America. These cockroaches are relatively light, and when they molt, they're totally white. Spooky! On the other side of the scale are members of the genus Atafila, which are so tiny that they live among leafcutter ants. They eat the ants' food with impunity because they can mimic the ants' smell and pheromones. If the colony wants to expand its territory, the cockroach attaches itself to an ant's wings and hitches a ride. 
The loudest cockroach is the Madagascar hissing cockroach. They make this terrifying noise when excited, stressed, and during courtship. The fastest cockroach is the American cockroach. It can cover 50 times its body length in one second. The cutest cockroach pageant is surprisingly tough to call, as they come in a wide range of colors and shapes. The Prosoplecta genus mimics ladybugs, which to us are adorable, but to predators, they look disgusting. The glow spot cockroaches are a genus that look like Jawas when it's dark out. This might scare predators away, attract lady cockroaches, and Star Wars fans. And some species of the Parasphereinae subfamily look like cute pill bugs. Despite their awesomeness, some cockroach species can be harmful to humans. They can play a role in disseminating antibiotic resistant bacteria, which they carry on their waxy cuticle. They also might have allergens that may cause allergic reactions. Finally, and most disgustingly, Cockroaches can crawl into your ears. <laughs> Though it's very rare, there are a number of reported cases where a cockroach crawls into a human ear and gets stuck. This is very painful as they might bite your eardrum, irritate your skin, and cause bacterial infections. This usually happens at night, so sleep with your ears closed. On the other hand, they can be useful to humans. For example, they're used as food across Asia, where they're deep fried. Their insides are apparently soft like cottage cheese. Even cooler, scientists are making remote-controlled cockroach cyborgs. They can even control their movements through their phone. Someday, they might be used for reconnaissance or rescue missions. Eventually, you might be able to tell your army of cockroaches to grab you a beer. One of the main myths about cockroaches is that they can survive nuclear warfare. This is not entirely false. An explosion will kill them, but they're way better equipped than us to survive nuclear fallout. They do have much higher radiation resistance, although it's not higher than other insects like botflies. So they might inherit the Earth, but they'll have to share it with about a million other insect species. So what should I talk about next? Please let me know in the comments and be sure to subscribe for new episodes of Animal Logic every other week. Thanks for watching, and sorry for grossing you out. Mm.